Welcome to my first YouTube running shoe review, the Ultra Temp 2. So I haven't dove right into these shoe reviews for one main reason, and that is my number one shoe buying tip. It's also why I'm going to try and keep this shoe review very quick, brief, and succinct. And the reason is this shoe's over a year old. It was released long ago. It is not the flashy brand new flagship model. And that's my number one tip. This won't come as any surprise to uh, veteran running shoe buyers, but for anybody who's just getting into the sport or who's new to, to buying running shoes on a regular basis as they do wear out, buy the model year prior. When they release a new shoe and it's 150 bucks, go look for the year before model and it will usually be around a hundred dollars and and that's what i go for that's really what i'm shooting for when i go to buy a shoe is around a hundred dollars for a really good high quality shoe that was much more expensive when it was released so let's get to that shoe review the ultra temp 2 it is uh, first of all ultra is uh, known for a couple of things one zero drop from heel to toe and also a unique uh, wider toe box the foot shaped toe box they talk about so a lot of that i love it's great uh, in in concept and design and what sold me on this shoe however was that it was sold as a high cushion shoe i am this is going to be a big part of our shoe discussion here i weigh nearly 200 pounds i stepped on the scale this morning and i was um, 195. that's pretty average between 190 and 195 right now is where i'm landing and to me this does not feel like a high cushion shoe this is no hoka uh, hoka and brooks as as a uh, as a sort of heavyweight runner uh, the Hoka and Brooks is really what I think have nailed the high cushion, but I haven't tried everybody. So I want to hear your suggestions. If, if you're a heavy runner, please comment what is your favorite um, max cushion shoe out there. So I ran uh, a lot, the majority of my 100 week miles in these. And towards the end of the week, I had to switch them out for my old shoes. Uh, not on every run on my four to six mile trail runs i stayed in the temp too they were good felt very good for for those distance and soft surfaces however for my morning pavement runs i went back to my last shoe which was the hoka no no it wasn't <clears throat> stinson atr5 much more higher cushion you can tell right off the bat so that's the discussion I want to have is heavy runners what shoe are you using tell me below another note about ultras is I used to wear them more regularly and I don't know if it's uh, new models if it's uh, a degrading quality overall or if it's simply just this one particular shoe the temp 2 in fact I was so curious I used to really like ultras and, and went through uh, quite a, a many of their models and enjoyed them and I really wanted to see how they compared to my most recent experience so I dug out a older pair this is the ultra Torin 2.5 released in 2016 I still had them in my closet and I tooled around in these on Saturday no running involved but I walked around all day at a science museum with the family and I loved them you know they were soft and, and comfortable and much more cushioned than the temp 2 that was sold as high cushion but it wasn't it was flat there was there was no bounce or energy return if they had sold this as a you know light mid cushion trail shoe i wouldn't have been as upset or as disappointed as i am because they sold it as a high cushion so a lot of it just comes down to marketing and perception and um and expectations so that's me that's my thoughts on the temp 2 don't forget my tip buy the model year passed that will save you some bucks down the road uh, another question is how do you know when to switch out shoes <sighs> there's a lot of differing opinion out there most will tell you uh, between three and five hundred miles 
but you know that's probably like dentists trying to get you in every six months or or you know dealerships trying to get you to come in for an old change at 2,000 miles <clears throat> your uh, your experience will vary right but for me I just picked that middle number 400 miles I set that with an alert on Strava they let me know when the shoe that I'm running in has reached 400 miles and that's when I go shopping my favorite sites are running warehouse and reioutlet.com go there uh, check out their clearance page for previous model years and see if you can find a deal Thanks.